Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about the topic uh, calendars. Guys, calendars topic is very important in reasoning. So, we will discuss uh, calendar topic uh, in this session. Especially, I will explain now uh, introduction part of uh, calendars topic uh, in this session. First of all, uh, in calendar topic, basically we have two types of years. Basically, we have two types of years. One is normal year, one is normal year and the second one is leap year. One is normal year and the second one is leap year. Every normal year consisting of 365 days. Every normal year consisting of 365 days and the leap year consisting of 366 days. Every normal year consisting of how many days? 365. Whereas leap year, 366. Now, guys, in calendar's topic, uh, odd days are very important. In calendar's topic, odd days. What are odd days and how to find odd days? Uh, almost in each and every problem, we will use uh, how to find odd days. Without knowing this uh, term odd days, it is not possible to get the answer in calendar's topic. Uh, so, first of all, we have to know about uh, these odd days. What is meant by odd days? Uh, odd days is nothing but after removing all the weeks, after removing all the weeks uh, from the given days, uh, whatever the extra days which are left over, extra days which are left over, those are called as uh, odd days. Suppose, for example, if you see here, 365 days, every normal year consisting of how many days? 365 days, whereas leap year consisting of 366 days. 365 days is nothing but 52 weeks, 52 weeks plus one day extra. How can we say that it is 52 weeks? 52 weeks. If you want to convert any days into weeks, you have to divide that particular value 365 with 7. Whenever if you want to convert any days into weeks, you have to divide with 7. Whenever you are dividing any number with 7, the possible remainders are here, let us take this one, 365 divided by 7, 52 times. Here this value becomes 364, the remainder is 7. Whenever, whatever the number you are dividing, whether it is 365, 366, 367, whatever the number you are dividing with 7, the possible remainders, the possible remainders are always from 0 to 6, always from 0 to 6. Remainders should not be greater than or equal to divisor. Here this 7 is called as divisor. So, remainder is always less than the divisor. In this way, we can convert any days into weeks. 365 days is nothing but 52 complete weeks plus one day extra. One day extra is nothing but that is the remainder left over after dividing 365 with 7. And uh, similarly, 366 days for leap year. 366 days is nothing but 52 complete weeks plus 2 days extra. Plus 2 days extra. 52 weeks plus 2 days extra. Guys, these extra days, whatever the extra days are there, those extra days are called as odd days. Odd days is nothing but extra days left over after removing all the weeks from the given number of days. Those are called as odd days. Odd days are very important in calendar topic. That is the reason why each and every person must learn about odd days. Without knowing the concept of odd days, it is not possible to get the answer in calendar topic. Now, one more, a few more important points in calendars is as we are talking about leap year, as we are talking about leap year, 
what is leap year and how can we identify whether that particular year is leap year or not whether that particular year is leap year or not basically we know that uh, every leap year will come after four years leap year will come after four years uh, we all know that leap year will come after four years uh, for every four four years uh, that is uh, leap year suppose for example 1996 after 1996 2000 that is the leap year after that 2004 like that suppose uh, 2020 that is the last year 2020 is a leap year and the next leap year will be 2024 next leap year will be 2024 see as we are writing all these numbers, as we are writing all these numbers, uh, 1996, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020 and so on. For every 4-4 four, four years, we are writing the leap year. In every leap year, February month is having 29 days. February month consisting of 29 days. For normal year, February month consisting of only 28 days. Now, here identification of leap year. Identification of leap year is if any number is divisible by 4. If any number is divisible by 4, then that year is a leap year. See here, 1996. 1996 is divisible by 4. How can we say that uh, this number is divisible by 4? Guys, for divisibility rule of 4, for divisibility rule of 4, there is no need of taking entire number. You just take only last two digits. Last two digits are enough to take the divisibility rule of 4. Here, no need of checking the entire number. 1996, no need of dividing entire 1996 with 4. Take only last two digits, 96. 96 is definitely divisible by 4, that is 24 times. So, 1996 is a leap year. In the similar fashion, 2020. Take only last two digits, 20. 20 is a multiple of 4 and that is divisible by 4. Therefore, this is a leap year. But there is an exception condition is there for leap year. As I already told you that uh, if any number, any year which is divisible by 4, that year is called as leap year. But there is an exception condition that is uh, centuries must be, century year, century year must be divisible by 400 not with 4. Century year must be divisible by 400, not with 4. Why? Because uh, here uh, some centuries are divisible by 4, but those are not divisible by 400. Those are not comes under leap year. If you take this uh, century, century is nothing but the year which is ending with uh, two zeros. Year which is ending with at least uh, two zeros that is called as a century. In 2000, last two digits are zero, so we can call this one as a century. 2000 is definitely divisible by 400. Every century year is divisible by 4, but every century is not divisible by 4. Suppose if you take an example of 500, 500 is divisible by 4, but it is not divisible by 400. See, we should not consider this 500 as leap year even though it is divisible by 4. Every century must be divisible by 400 then only we can call it as a leap year. If not, a, not a leap year. Is it clear? See, first condition is uh, if any year is divisible by 4 that is uh, in that particular year is a leap year. But there is an exception condition, century year must be divisible by 400, not with 4. That is about a leap year and a normal year. And coming to these odd days, coming to these odd days, basically, basically odd days are always, odd days are always 
seven possible odd days that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the possible odd days just now i told that uh, possible odd days are always 0 to 6 value should not be greater than 6 if number of odd days are 0 if number of odd days are 0 that particular week is called as that particular day is called as sunday these are the standard days these are the standard days 0 is called as sunday 1 is called as monday and next 2 tuesday and next 3 wednesday and next 4 thursday 5 friday and at last uh, 6 uh, saturday 6 saturday Guys, uh, the problems, almost 90% of problems in calendars uh, is always uh, based on number of odd days. If number of odd days are 0, that day is called as uh, Sunday. Followed by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and finally 6 is nothing but uh, Saturday. Once you know one day it is very easy to remember remaining all always the week is starts with sunday not with the uh, monday always week is starts with the uh, sunday is it clear and uh, one more last uh, important point regarding uh, calendars uh, one more concept is uh, repetition of same calendar year repetition of same calendar year. Repetition of same calendar year. Same calendar year is nothing but, uh, suppose for example, now it is 2021. Now it is 2021. 2021 calendar, whatever the calendar is there, including uh, weeks and days. Uh, see here, suppose January 1st. From January 1st to December 31st in 2021. Star, suppose for example, January 1st, 2021 is uh, Saturday. And uh, that is also ending with Saturday only. Whatever the days are there in 2021, the same calendar must be there except uh, this number, 2021. Same calendar must be there after how many years it will be repeated that is a point we have to discuss here uh, here i will explain few points to remember every leap year every leap year to solve the problems related to same calendar year repetition of same calendar year it is very easy you will get the answer within seconds hardly two to three seconds that's it why because uh, see Every leap year, every leap year repeats, every leap year repeats after 28 years, after 28 years. It means that, uh, see here, I am not saying leap year comes after 28 years. I am saying that uh, repetition of same calendar, same calendar in the sense, suppose for example, 2020 was a leap year 2020 was a leap year whatever the calendar is there for 2020 the same calendar same calendar will be repeated after 28 years after 28 years it means that uh, 2020 plus 28 which is nothing but 2048 2020 and 2048 uh, both are having the same calendars. Both are having the same calendars. If you want to check it out, you can check it out. It is not at all required to check each and every day. Check first date and last date. That's more than enough. If it is matches, then remaining will definitely matches. And next, first year after leap year. First year 
after leap year repeats first year after leap year repeats after 6 years after 6 years first year after leap year in the sense now 2021 2021 is the first year after leap year the same calendar is repeated again after 6 years so 2027 will have the same calendar as that of 2021 2027 will have the same calendar as that of 2021 and next similarly second as well as third year second as well as third year after leap year after leap year repeats repeats after 11 years after 11 years both second year after leap year third year after leap year repeats after how many years 11 years suppose for example 2022 2022 is second year after leap year therefore the same calendar is repeated after 11 years it means 2033 suppose if you take 2023 2023 is third year after leap year this is also repeats after 11 years it means 2034 2034 2022 calendar and 2033 calendar is same and 2023 calendar 2034 calendar both are same these are the three points you must remember to solve this kind of uh, problems uh, whenever repetition of same calendar is given every leap year repeats after 28 years whereas first year after leap year repeats after 6 years and second and third years after leap year repeats after 11 years uh, Guys I hope you enjoy the session thank you thanks for the watching